good morning and welcome back so today today is our last day here at yellow jacket and i had to come see the the river one more time so anyway we really enjoy staying here this is the first time we've ever repeated a stay and we might come back again because this reminds us of home and it's also in florida so right now we're gonna get the camper ready we're gonna pack up and get on down the road and we're going to the water park today. It's actually called Wakiva Falls RV Resort. It's a spring-fed river that has a water park in the spring. So anyway, Ashlyn's excited, Kayla's excited. We're actually pretty excited too because the weather there is about 10 degrees warmer than here, so it should be for a good time. Where are we going? To the water park. Are you ready to go to the water park? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited too. Yeah. Buddy, are you excited about the water park? I don't think they're gonna let you swim in it. Plus, you just got a bath. You smell good. All right, we're gonna get finished getting the camper ready and then we're going to the water park. So today, I'm gonna throw you for a loop. Okay. I'm gonna have you do all the breakdown of the camper and make it ready to go on the road. <laughs> okay. Now you've already done this part. You do this all the time. This is mostly you. So what are you doing here first? Uh, just make sure that everything's put away. Nothing's gonna fall off of a counter or a dresser top. Lock the closet door, make sure the doors are shut, drawers are shut, and then sweep everything, check, make sure nothing's going to get hit by the slide. And then you ask me what? Then I ask you, can I bring the slide in? Because we have the little pool noodles out there so we don't bump our heads. And you go take those off, and then we bring the slide in. So is this room ready to go? This room is ready to go. All right, show me. So we just slide it in. I'll fill the light and shut the door once it comes all the way in. I bet most people don't travel with a dollhouse <laughs> on their bed, yes. <laughs> the size of their bed. That's a dollhouse. <laughs> okay, so in this area, I just make sure our shower door is locked. Make sure this door is locked for the sliding bathroom door. I sweep all this out, make sure nothing's going to fall off the countertop again. And then we move on to the kitchen. So what do you do after you get done with the bathroom? I come into the kitchen, make sure everything is off our countertops, so we're all clear there. Put the sink inserts in, make sure all doors and cabinets are closed, especially this one because we've had a little mishap before. That drawer is a little off. It opens a little slower than it used yeah, to. Yeah, but that's okay because if you bring the slide in and it's open just a little, it's going to catch it. Um, I also pull the curtain back in our loft area, make sure all of that stuff is secure so that it doesn't move. Then we sweep, check all underneath the slides, and then shut her down. So guess what? What? Today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you pull these slides in. You've never done that before. I have not. But you've helped every time. Yes. But today you're pressing the button. So you're going to go hold the carpet? I will hold the carpet. <laughs> what do we need to do to this door right here? You have to open it. It has to be open. Why? Well, One, because when the slides come in, the air changes in the room. And yeah. two, because the next step is to let go of the jacks. Yeah. And, and you will destroy the door. Rip the steps off. So we go ahead and open it up the whole time so we don't forget to do it. Yep. And because we use our back area when we're traveling, I take this rug to the back, move it back there so that we have somewhere to wipe our feet keep things clean. It's a big moment for you. <laughs> do you even know where so the button is? It's a big day. I do know it's under here. It's under there. I've accidentally pushed it once uh -huh. whenever I was looking for the light switch. By the way, you have a light switch under here if you didn't know. Yeah, that's cool too. <laughs> yep. So anyway, go ahead and find it and then do your last oh, little check. I hit the awning one. Sorry. Do your last little check. What am I checking? You're checking to make sure everything's oh, yeah. still happy. Oh, one. Well, I mean, those wouldn't have damaged anything. Dirty clothes for the girls. <laughs> I'll put those in the back. All right. Okay. So you just hold the button on the slide in. Uh huh. And that one's going to move first. Okay. Here we go. Do you have pool noodles on that one? No, because Cause it's lower. Yeah, I would have to run into it with my knee. Oh, okay. Although I, sometimes I wish I did whenever I was trying to get the sewer <laughs> okay. out. So now I'm going to walk you through what I do here that you've never done before. This is beginner level one because I've never even watched right, so this So the part. slides are in. Our next thing to do uh -huh. is go to the monitor panel. Okay. All right. And see how it says electric water heater and gas water heater? Uh-huh. Hit those and turn them off. So that's off. That's off. So now all of our stuff is off. Hit the uh, HVAC button. Oh, okay. 
and make sure we turn off all of our ACs. I already, I, I cheated. I turned the uh, bedrooms off. Okay. So all you gotta do is turn the main one off. So this next part is something you've never done. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit the level button. Okay. Uh, hit the down arrow to a manual mode. Hit enter. Okay. And now hit retract. And then hold the rear button down. The whole camper is gonna drop. But Keep just, holding it down? Yep, you'll hear noises. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I've never done that before. So you never. hold it down until you hear that noise. Uh -huh. That's the hydraulic pump. Whenever it changes, that means they're all the way up. Okay. So you'll hear it. Make oh. that right there. That's done. So you can let go. Okay. All right. So the last thing we do in here is we back out of this. Yeah, it's not happy because this is really unlevel sight. Yeah. So we back out of this and we go and we turn all the lights off. Okay. I don't know why the leveler. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so lighting. And hit all off. There's a handy little button that says all off. All right, and so we're now pretty we're much done. done. Except for that light, which we always travel with on. We forget to turn that okay, one off. Okay, there. We remembered right, on so camera. So now we're going to go outside, and we're going to check the jacks that they all came up. Okay. Get all of our blocks up, and then there's one more thing you're going to do for me today. All right, so you know what to do out here. We're going to pick up the water. Yep. And the electrical. Yep. And I'm going to do it for you. Because, Thank you. Because, you know. <laughs> What know. I'm about to ask you to do, you're, you're probably not going to want to do. Oh, lovely. So anyway, <laughs> tell them the trick on how we know that the fridge switched over. It makes a little clicking sound. So, stay right there. Yeah, you hear it? over here. So, Listen. I turned the power off to the camper. Just heard it. No, it's gonna, you're going to hear it fire. There it goes. Oh. That means it switched over propane and we're good. Yeah. So we and don't have ruined you know food. That your food is going to be good when you get there. Awesome. <laughs> so, what are we doing next? I have no idea. Well, today, you're going to hook the camper up to the truck. Oh, Lord. We might be here a while, folks. <laughs> so, anyway, I got everything ready. So, let's go to the truck, and we're going to do one thing first. Okay. So, open Kayla's back door. All right. The first thing you want to do, this is your air pressure for your airbags. Uh -huh. Go ahead and press the button until it says about 65 PSI. It'll go up. Yep. You have to hold it continuously? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we got a little more. <laughs> All right. All right. Now get in the truck and go pull her around. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? It's really easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do most of the help for you. I'm not gonna make you get out every time to see how close it is. I'm gonna walk you through it. So I'm not gonna make you do it the way I have to do it. How much are our deductibles? <laughs> <laughs> we might be using them. So I'm going around there. Yep. Pull up in the second side. All right, so come look at this. Okay. So we're close, but see how we have to come over? Oh, yeah. All right, and, and another thing left, is, right? you notice how the hitch is really low. It's not gonna work that way. Yeah. So let's come over here and I'll show you how to do that. The truck is too far left? Yes. Okay. I mean, no. It needs to go to the right. To the right, yeah. Alright, so hold the up and down arrow at the same time until it flashes yellow. Alright, let go. Where did it flash? Right oh, there. right there. Okay. Alright, so this thing is weird because it's, it's different. So you okay. want the camper to go up. Okay. So you press the up button. Okay. And then you watch the hitch until it gets close. You actually want it to be a little high at first and then as we get close we'll bring it back down all right okay. so let's go so that's high enough? yeah that's high enough for the first time okay so when you say watch the hitch that's this part or this part <laughs> this part well this is the pin box that is the hitch oh okay so you're trying to make this thing level close enough close to for, okay. until you get lined up and then we'll make it the i'll show you the right height when we get there okay all right turn left yeah all right stop now come straight back Back straight, yeah. That's good. Now come straight back. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's close. Stop. All right, get out. I'm gonna show you the next step. All right. Get it? Yeah, you're close. So come look at this right here. You see how the pin box, which is this piece, is higher than that? 
So go over to that button again. The over flat here on the side. piece. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna go over to the button. Push the up and down. You press the down. No, it's already on. Oh, okay. So just just hit the down button. Hold it down. Just just tap it a few times. You'll see. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And you want to lower it until it kind of it tilts it down. Yeah. So you still have to go more. Okay. A little more. I'll tell you. Well, you want it to be facing downward. Keep going a little one more. Okay, so that right there. Now come look, I'm gonna show you. Okay. So you want it to make it to where when you back into it, it picks the trailer up some. So it's at a light angle. So it's a slight angle slant. this way. Okay. And it'll usually go every time. All right, so I'm gonna come show you what happened. No, no, it's it's almost there. I wanna show you what, what we gotta do to fix it. I was too scared to push the gas pedal while I was going backwards. Because well, I thought a, it, I might rip something off. It's a Ford, it doesn't need a lot. <laughs> so anyway, you see how the, the thing didn't lock all the way? Right. That's because we're still a little too high. So oh, all you gotta do okay. is go over there and press the down button and you'll see everything settle. If you're tall. Press it down a little more. All right, a little more. All right, now I'm gonna do this part for you. So what changed? See, now we're locked. Oh, okay, so if it's too high, it won't go into yeah. the lock position. Okay. And right now, we probably should have lowered it a little bit more, but it's fine. Okay, now the next part is to hook up our cable. Okay. So take this? the black one. Oh my. Oh yeah, it goes right <laughs> here. All right, so I went ahead and hooked them up for you because your baby bump is not letting you reach the plug or the brake release switch. Right. So we hook up the trailer lights, brake cable, all the electrical stuff on the trailer. That's the black cord. And then we hook up the emergency brake release on the trailer. That's the little thin cord. Yep. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the pressure off these jacks okay. and do our brake check. Okay. So we come over here and we're gonna press the down button because we want the camper to go down. Hold it down or just tap? Hold it down. And you're gonna see it sit on the truck. Oh my. Oh, they're moving. Is it's got okay? it's it's going to. Alright. That's good. Yeah, that's good. The other one came up, so this one's barely touching the ground. So come over that's here. Scary. Alright, so the reason we do this is because this tells us if our trailer brakes are working, and it also tells us that our pin is hooked up. So if something were to happen, that's when we leave the jacks down so it doesn't fall on the truck. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in drive. Right? Okay. Hit all these buttons because Ford hates that the doors open. <laughs> all right, you see this little thing right over here? It's your brake controller. These two buttons, right? Yep, hold it to the left. Squeeze Both. it Squeeze it together. Now, now press the gas pedal on the truck. How hard? That's so scary to me. <laughs> Do it. Don't be afraid. All right, so stop. Oh, oh that's, that's okay. well, it's working. That's too much. All right, now put it back in park. <laughs> okay. All right, so now, now you just way over tested more than I've ever done. <laughs> but the hitch is secure <laughs> okay all right so now that we've we've checked the brakes and everything's good and the, the pin is locked in the hitch yeah we're gonna go back here and pick up the rest of the jacks all right all right so we want to pick the jacks up so we want the camper to go down so press the down button see that's a little confusing i would have thought we would have pushed the up button no it's what the camp the jacks it's what you up. want yeah, most people think that it's yeah. not what the jack's doing it's what the camper's doing all right so you hear the noise change uh -huh. so you can come over here and you look and they're all up. Yep. So our last thing to do is pick these blocks up, pick our containers up, and then we'll figure out how to get out of this spot. All right. So <laughs> if you were to do it, what are some things you need to work, you know, think about? Well, I already did a walk around just to see what was going on. And for sure this pole is concerning to me. Why is it going to be a problem? <clears throat> because of our tail swing, because of this tree up here. I don't know if we can go forward far enough to miss this pole the answer is going to be no you cannot so okay so what would i do so the first thing you're going to do is we're going to back up out of this site some okay and when you come back through you're going to move over oh okay because we gave ourselves a big yes. front yard okay so you'll you'll just back up some and move over uh -huh. three to four feet and then when you come out here you'll be able to pull part of your kind truck of will go yeah your, your truck will turn in that site uh -huh. and you will that means the trailer will probably clear all this stuff right here. Right, and we don't have any picnic tables or any of that to worry about this time. So, so you want to do it? Mainly just this pole, right? Yep, you want to do it? Yeah, but I'm still going to need your help. Okay. <laughs> so backwards first. Yes, you're going backwards first. Just straight. Just straight back. Okay. There's no one coming. Nope. I can't gauge depth perception and I don't know. 
Well, you want a little secret? How far back the trailer It's is. no different for guys either. <laughs> it's really far back there. It is. You get an idea the more you do it, but you really don't know where you are. Yeah. You can't, I can't tell you how close I am to something. In this. Like, I can't even see the trailer tires. Well, you, you can't. There's a dually. All right. Now we'll switch directions. First thing you do when you go forward is turn that way. Yep, just follow me. I'll, I'll guide you. All right, turn. Now follow this. You can see right now we would have been okay. okay. But now we're, we're very comfortable because we have, you're yeah, past it already. It's a little backward because you're trying to go away from the pole, but you're pointing me toward the pole to drive closer to the Well, no, no, I was pointing you that so the truck's in the right spot. Oh, this is the, What I was okay. setting you up for is that side that of the turn. camper not to hit that guy's stuff. Okay, so now what am I gonna do? You're gonna pull out and curve around. And I'm going to go over here on the other side and watch. Hey girl, where are you going? My heart is still beating as hard as the first time. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna make you drive out of here because there's five or six rocks that you have to watch out for and some branches. Okay. So I'm gonna do this part that for you. That was a good first step going forward. Uh huh. So, okay, I'm done, right? Yep. All right, I didn't crash anything. We don't need an insurance deductible. <laughs> All is good. All right, so right here uh -huh. is the rocks I didn't want you to worry about. Oh, okay. It's fine, but you can do it both ways. Swing wide twice. Oh yeah, it's not so much. Far, right? So once you have to worry about it. Yeah. Oh, and then there's those over in that corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's not on the beginner level. <laughs> we'll do that for interme intermediate training. Ashlyn, <laughs> do you know what time it is? What? Train horn. Train horn. Time. <laughs> Just stopped here at a rest area to take a little break and I'm doing my walk around checking my tires my suspension to make sure there's nothing wrong with the camper because you never want to find out the hard way that there might be something about to happen it says we're only 63 miles away nice but the way that the truck wants us to go and the way that my phone wants us to go is not the way we're going oh we're going the way the trucking app said which is on the toll roads which is gonna be maybe longer miles but it might be faster oh okay so we get to try out our new uh, Florida Sun Pass. Yeah. Hopefully it works and we don't get a bill in the mail saying we did it wrong. <laughs> because be. you can't pay cash. That's what they said. Like there's very few cash things. They want cashless uh, toll roads. Yeah. If they send you a bill, there's going to be a nice surcharge attached to they that. They told me it's $25. Really? Per, per infraction. Oh my gosh. But they also said that if you check your statement yeah. and it shows things, like since we've registered this, uh -huh. if we messed up and get a bill, it goes oh, from this day, so they'll fix okay. it. Oh, perfect. Because I told them, I was like, I have a camper. I can't just, I can't just stop. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't just turn around and go the other way. <laughs> so anyway, they say it should be no problem. So maybe by about four o'clock we'll be there. Awesome. 
that's in time to set up and maybe go do some some water parking some water parking <laughs> Okay, so, so they just looked out the window and saw how big of a camper this is. Yeah. So now he's gonna take me and there's like four spots. I have to go decide which one I think I can get it into. Oh. She says- uh, The one we originally booked, not well, good? Well, she says uh, it's gonna be hard to back into that one. So oh, I got okay. four I'm gonna go look at with the guy and I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good. So we got our camper into the spot and it's a pretty cool spot, but it's definitely a challenge getting in. Not because there was anything to hit because uh, there's a palm tree right in front of my camper. And as you can see, that's where my camper and truck was. So we had to come in sideways to this parking area. And then I couldn't touch this because they didn't want me to break that. But the whole time my camper was sinking, you can see our tracks. And then when I got back there, I almost ran out of space because of the pedestal. And so straightening it up between the pedestal and the palm tree was kind of fun. It's going to be about the same getting out because I can't just pull forward because they don't want me to break the corner. But our spot's pretty cool. We're all set up. How did you enjoy backing the camper into that spot? Oh my goodness. I thought you were going to film. You didn't film anything. No, there was way too much going on. It doesn't even look that hard. I know. You but know, because the ground was so wet, and the trailer wouldn't turn it just kept going in the same track i made the first the first right. track i made it kept staying in that track right and i'm so glad we got here today because tomorrow and the next day are full of rain and i can't it, imagine trying to get into that site he said there's other sites that are still soaked that you can't get well, into well it seemed like it was gonna be easy but it took like four or five maneuvers to get it there it's the first time i ever parked behind a tree we needed that uh, <laughs> why is the tree there i know that tree we needed the light up version yeah. the, so we could just move the palm <laughs> and then put it back like but... if i could have just backed straight in it would have been easy yeah. but i had to cut through and then miss the thing and then not run over the back poles yeah but it's a super cool park also what's what? what's cool about that what is this right here this is a store a they have a store. store there's our camper yeah here's there's a the store, store. And, a pl and a playground with a tiki and bar. the water park and a water park one thing you should know about booking at a site with a on-site water what is this a water it's a, park it's a spring it's a mineral spring it smells like rotten eggs but it's, it's sulfur you get used to it the minerals <laughs> yeah <laughs> Kids. Yeah, also, that's that stench is gonna take a minute to get used to. I know. We are downwind, and it's definitely <laughs> it's pungent down here. Yeah. It. Uh, there's only three people in here. It makes me wonder is that part closed too? No. Oh, okay. It's just they say it's really cold water. Smelly. Also, it kind of smells like a uh, chemistry or science class. Yeah. <laughs> also. Easter when you boil eggs for <laughs> deviled eggs. <laughs> it's very smelly. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> touch it. <laughs> that cold. I can see our camper from here. Yeah. It's right there. <laughs> it's a cool view from the top. Still smells up here. Does. Not gonna lie. You sound like a bunch of prima donnas. It's Hi, it's it's, it's a it's an acquired taste. The guy said, and that that guy that guy works here. He said he worked in a paper mill for over thirty years, so he doesn't even smell it. <laughs> they said it's an acquired smell, and within two days, we won't even notice it. We'll see. But I tell you, after two hours, I still notice it. <laughs> I feel like it's in my throat. <laughs> like, hey, the good news I've is, eaten it. <laughs> we could probably just fart all the time here, and no one would ever know. <laughs> Lucky us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look what we have here. She hasn't we, seen it yet. We have the non-sulfur water. Oh, check her check her while she Ashlyn, turn around. While she finally sees it. Look at her. <laughs> what is that? 
and I bet that water don't smell. I'm pretty sure this is like the old people Olympic sport in Florida. <laughs> Let's not butcher this one like we did. I don't even know what it's called. Boca ball. Shuffleboard? <laughs> or no, it's, bocce ball. Was that the other one? It's boca ball it's, for all you people. It's boca. It's boca. boca not bocce. We learned something <laughs> in one of our videos. It's actually bocce. I'm just going to keep saying boca because people can't this handle it. This is shuffleboard, I think. Yeah. But they don't have any stuff here, so I bet you have to go talk to somebody yeah, about it. Go. And I bet they're going to be like, you're not of the appropriate age to play. It's 55 up. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to be like, you cannot bring your kids over there either because... Ashlyn thinks it's a track. <laughs> She's getting her exercise. Ready, set, go! Wear yourselves out so we sleep good tonight.